have a message for girls and women everywhere? Yeah. I, I, what I would wish someone had said to me, don't worry. Because worrying is a prayer for the worst possible outcome. Every experience you have is preparing you to be ready for the opportunity when it presents itself. You are so powerful and so capable. You will get it all done. Don't worry if your to-do list is never completely crossed off all as well. So how do you define success? Um, I think success is laughing every day, eating a great meal every day, being with people that you love. I really feel like um, it's a choice in a lot of ways to, to be happy and to see the bright spots and, um, and to feel like you're living your truth, to feel like you're doing what you were put here to do. So as much as you can find that in small ways and big, um, you know, I talk to moms all the time who feel like I'm at home. You know, this is my purpose now, but a year from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you can have a totally different purpose. So don't be afraid to let that evolve, too. I love that. What are you doing to help further women's progress? Help further women's progress. You know, I try to be really honest about, I'm thinking in the most literal sense, body progress and body positivity. I have had two kids. I mean, people who watch me on the chew, they see that, like, I'm not the bounce back queen. It takes me a long time. And I try to be really honest about the steps in my progress and what has gotten me success and also the pitfalls that I've found and things that I haven't found easy to conquer. Um, because I think the more that we as women can communicate those things honestly and, and lovingly to each other, the more that we're able to learn and, and you know and, and step on each other's shoulders in a way and grow. Yeah. How do you teach how do you teach your kids to be bold? I don't need to teach my kids to be bold. They're so bold. My daughter Philomena is three, and she is a queen. Like she is so funny. She at three is a really cool age. They they remember things. They judge you. They're super hysterical. Um, but you know what? What I try to do is is show my kids by example how my husband and I love each other. How we how we're part of our family, and that this is a, a strong and a, eternal foundation that you guys can rely on. Um, and that we love them unconditionally. We're proud of them, even as little kids. And who knows if that's actually soaking in, but we're trying. <laughs>